Menstrual cramps feel even worse than having a heart attack. This is how reproductive health experts describe what women experience. Other doctors further address this comparison, stating that heart attacks are usually accompanied by mild pain. Some gynecologists believe that menstrual cramps are more comparable to labor pain. Data shows that 80% of women experience menstrual cramps at some point in their lives. So what are menstrual cramps and why are they so painful? During a woman's fertile years, the uterine lining thickens to help prepare for a possible embryonic implantation and a successful pregnancy. But when an egg is not fertilized, the uterus contracts to help expel and shed the thickened uterine lining, which in turn breaks down and bleeds. This is known as the menstrual cycle, or what is commonly referred to as a period. Chemicals called prostaglandins help the uterus contract and relax so that the lining can detach and shed. Prostaglandins are necessary for uterine contraction, and higher levels of prostaglandins trigger the uterine muscles to contract even more strongly. As a result, the blood supply to the uterus is momentarily shut down, depriving the uterine muscles of oxygen and causing severe pain. This leads to what is known as menstrual cramps or period pains. These pains are medically referred to as dysmenorrhea and are classified into two types, primary and secondary dysmenorrhea. Primary dysmenorrhea is the most common type of period pain where there is no underlying condition that affects the uterus. Symptoms of primary dysmenorrhea include pain in the lower abdomen and back before and during the menstruation period. Other symptoms include nausea, vomiting, sweating, dizziness, headaches, and diarrhea. There has been little research into how to treat it, and the signs that could point to a more serious condition are often missed. On the other hand, secondary dysmenorrhea is caused by an underlying condition, like fibroids, pelvic inflammatory disease, or endometriosis. Endometriosis, for example, is a condition in which the uterine lining, also called the endometrium, grows outside the uterus. This misplaced tissue will grow, thicken, and break down just as the normal uterine lining does during the menstrual cycle. This condition may cause extremely painful periods during bowel movements and could even lead to problems with fertility. Studies found that about 75% of menstruating women suffer from some symptoms of PMS. Short for premenstrual syndrome, PMS can appear around the ovulation date, roughly two weeks before the start of the menstrual period, and can last a few days after the period begins. It's not fully understood why women experience PMS, but it may be because of their fluctuating hormone levels. PMS can include serious mood changes, anxiety, tiredness, back pain, and severe headaches. During PMS, many women find it hard to control their emotions. They may experience crying spells, irritability, and even angry outbursts. PMS is likely caused by fluctuations in hormone levels. During the time of ovulation, a woman's body releases an egg, leading to a drop in estrogen and progesterone levels. These hormones are known to influence serotonin, a neurotransmitter that helps regulate the mood, sleep cycle, and appetite. Low levels of serotonin are linked to feelings of sadness and irritability, and may also affect sleep patterns and cause unusual food cravings. When PMS is accompanied by a stressful situation, the emotional effect can be even more intense. PMS is most common among women in their late 20s to early 30s. Some women experience extreme symptoms of PMS, which indicates that they might have premenstrual dysphoric disorder, or PMDD. PMDD is similar to PMS, but is uncommon and more severe. Women with PMDD report feeling very depressed before their period. Some women even reach the point of having suicidal thoughts. This condition affects up to 5% of menstruating women. To help manage PMS-related symptoms, avoid drinks rich in caffeine and alcohol, and keep track of your symptoms throughout the different stages of your cycle. Knowing there's a reason for why you're feeling extra moody can help you manage your symptoms. Exercise releases endorphins, which are the body's feel-good hormones, so working out during your PMS can help put you in a good mood. Women suffering from severe PMS can get help through psychotherapy. One study shows that it is more effective when women involve their partners in the therapy. Couples counseling can help partners understand PMS, which can improve relationship satisfaction and make PMS more bearable. In short, period pains can affect women both physically and emotionally, but they are a normal occurrence of the reproductive cycle and not a disorder.